So I sent this recently. It's a, um, a substitution cipher. It's a question on my Caesar cipher task. It's not a Caesar cipher. This is actually a, a true substitution cipher. So this is the key as a whole. And what we need to do is encrypt a message using this key. So we're substituting it with relevant letters. But this is a fixed key. And it's not a, a natural shift as in five letters or three letters forwards or backwards. So if we think about what's going to happen, we've got our alphabet going A to Z with the numbers position index 0 to 25. And then we've got our key. So A becomes S, B becomes T, C becomes A. Again, at the letters, uh, so the index 0 to 25. So this is a fixed position. We know what this is. So if we take our word in, let's say we take in the letter um, C in we need to look through this array here until we find C identify the position that C is at which is 2 and then output what's that position 2 in the cipher array so C becomes the letter A so with that in mind what we've got is this. So this is my program. So I've declared my variables, declared my arrays, I load my array with the alphabet, load my cipher with my substitution key, type in the word I want to convert, call a function that I've written that does the, the making the cipher, pass it the two arrays and the text, and output it. Now when we look at load the alphabet. I've done this in a little, just for a bit of fun, in a, in a different way, just to speed up the process. So we know that the capital A starts at 65, so what I'm doing is, the, is a, um, a for loop 25 times, adding up the count to each time as it puts in the letters. Just a little trick that's nice and quick. Loading my cipher, you could do your alphabet in exactly the same way. I've got my substitution zero, and all I've done is put in the, the 25 combinations. This is just an array. If you were doing it in Python, it'd be a lot faster because you could just type in the array with all the commas separating it. But in Flogrism, you've got to type all in one at a time. So we've got that. The bit that does the work is this make cipher text. So we saw from the main, we type in a word, we call the word, call the cipher text with um, the word and the two arrays. So we come through, we set it to blank, have a starting position, and this is where we're going to count through each individual letters. And I'll run this through one by one. So this is while the, uh, while the letter is. So if I've got uh, C-A-T, careful writing there, comes through, takes the C, first letter, goes into the second loop, goes through A, B, C until it finds C and then outputs the cipher substitution at that position. So C is at position 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's outputting whatever's in the cipher one at position 3. So let's, um, let's step through this. I'll just scroll down a bit so you can see what else is on here. So it's just the output for the return of the string. Okay, so if I go back to main, and I run my program. I step put my right point in there. I'll run to that point. I put in my um, word logic. Now I've only done this to work with capital letters. I've got a, a video that you can look at on how to call a two up or two lower function in um, in Flowism that you can look at to deal with that bit. I'm just doing the substitution cipher for, for interest sake. So I enter that, and now I can step through the program, but I'm going to need my variable window open, so you can see what's happening. So, is it that one? Yeah, okay. So you can see, I'm going to 
let's move that to one side. So you can see my two arrays, you can see the side text, you can see the plain text I've brought in. So I'll carry on stepping through. Close the cipher text function, initializes the array, so the variables, there's the cipher variable being initialized. Okay, so let's start through it. So the first letter is char gets the the value of a, of a string of that word at position zero. So we've got the L for logic. This is going to go through the alphabet until it finds L. So it's going to take a few seconds, so it goes through it. So we should be about position 12-ish. There we go. Okay. And you can see converted that to the J. It's come down, found the L, 12th in lock, 0 to 11. Come across, substitute, found that position, and outputted that value. If I continue with that going through, you should see the rest of the letters starting to come in. Okay, it's going to go through the alphabet. This is where it's not particularly efficient, because it's going to go through the alphabet, even though it's found it. Now it's doing the O. O should become Z. There we go. It's going to finish the rest of the alphabet. So it'll get to position 25 and it'll start for the next letter. 24G. So G is going to become 6, it's going to become the U. And carries on. Okay, so let's just uh, finish that off. Okay, and you can see the input was logic, the output was J Z U L A, which is what we expected. So if we just look at the original, the individual files. So there's our main. Let's take that break for now. now. So declaring variables, declaring the two arrays, load the alphabet with A to Z, load the substitution type with substitution, ask for it, and then do the job, print it out. That's a neat little trick for filling in an alphabet of A to Z using the ASCII value. That's the manual way of just adding the 25 values in. You can do that for the alphabet and the substitution. And there's the cipher. So you can see we're bringing in the plain text string, the alphabet, and the substitution cipher. There's our count of our 26 letters. So each letter that we've got, we loop through it until we find the position in the alphabet. We return the substitute into the string, so we're gradually building up the string. We do that until we've done all of the letters. Once we've built up our string, we return it back to main and output it. So just to test it one more time, we'll just run it. So I've got uh, cat should be C should become A, A should become S, T should become C. A, S, C. So I hope that helped. That was a really quite interesting project. I hope that's helped with your, your assignments. Ask you more questions if you need to.